Let's play this, boys. Or females. Alright. So yeah, this is apparently... This is so cool, like, they made the Macworld demo of Halo, and they kind of, like, made it as a campaign. Obviously, it's not... I played it already, it's, like, not nearly as long as a campaign, but it's, like, a mission length, but it's... Still, I mean, the fact that it's like that is so cool. Alright. Yeah, look at this. Oh my god. Yeah, look at this. Everything's different, like... The textures are different, the world's different. Uh, in the macro demo... I mean, look at this gun, too, this assault rifle. It's got, like, a mag on the side. Um... I'll show you all the differences between Halo and... This version of Halo, but the fact that they even made this and got the assets, it's like... This is amazing stuff. Um, and even myself, I played through this like one time and I still like really enjoyed it. So this is really cool stuff. And I'll probably maybe make a video about it at some point. But look at this, the green, the grass. Look at this. You also have the Orion armor I'm wearing. Uh, I don't think I could exit out of... I need to get into a vehicle to show y'all though. Yeah, but this is from the Lost Macro Demo. And I'm not really too sure. I mean, this was probably just like a demo area. Just to show off the game. I'm not sure if they actually refined. Because Halo, before it came out, was like constantly changing. I think it was originally it was supposed to be an RTS, like Halo Wars. And then it became... It was going to be a third person shooter. And then they changed it. And they made it into a first person shooter. So this game plays just like the first person shooter. Even the, like, grunts look different. Look at them. There's a pelican. Uh, the marines look the same. We were on our way out of this place. But we got caught out by those banshees. We awesome. Lost and Oscar squad got totally wiped. Bad. Damn. We got a good look at the island, though. Covenant patrols everywhere. I can tell you right now, it ain't friendly. Round up, boys. Who's standing? This is a different vert. Hey, Tristan ain't looking too good, man. Where's the pistol? No, damn it! Wake up, man! All right, all right, look! We need to take ammo, scrape out the pelican. Who has the flare? Please had it, man, but he bit it. Chief, you'll want this. It's the data we scraped from our mission on the island. Ah. I can't find their exit. We're pulling back to a safe location to reach. Gotta plan our next move. Yeah, help these guys out on the island. Yeah, this is a different version of the pistol. It's got like a, a scope on it. Which I think the original did too, but this one's got like a sniper scope. Um, and then the assault rifle showed y'all prior. This one right here. This one's pretty cool. It's got like a little that it's got a little grenade launcher. But I'm going to get that pistol. If there you go. There you go. It's pretty cool. It's like an alternate version of the of the gun from the first game. I'm gonna keep this one too. Alright. Um let's we'll see if there's actual objectives. Search for a way to deactivate the eternal security shield. So there is kind of like a control room in this uh, level. I'll show you all the map though. Show you all the map real fast. As you can see, all the guns are like really just alternate versions or different. As you can see, look at all that. Very hilly. Much more hilly than the first game. A lot more barren features, but there's like a couple cool features. They got some trees. This interesting bridge over here. And then this little thing over here, you saw this in the Macworld demo. But you all can look up on YouTube. It's like a four five minute video um but basically this is the control room of the halo it's like a weird little thing on the side of a mountain you see a little 
As you can see, they put like a lot of cool work. And look at that. Oh, wow. Yeah, they put a lot of beautiful work into this map. I mean, the fact that we're even able to play this version of Halo is insane. And I've heard they're going to add more uncut or cut content from this game. As you can see, there's like no recoil to this thing. Don't even flinch. Uh, here's another view of the area. It's like a big map, I would say. And this is a mod, by the way, so you have to download it on, play the Steam version of this game and install the mod. I think the grunts are the same. I'm not entirely sure. I think the elites are the same, too. Uh, let me get in this. I'm gonna show you all the armor. And here's the armor. Right, come on. Come on, bitches. So that's the Orion armor. If I remember the actual... There's like an in-war... There's like an in war re I think name for it. I think it's called the Orion Armor. But that was the original design of Chief. The first armor configuration, how he was supposed to look. This is how he looked in the demo. Are those purple elites? That's new. I actually didn't see- Oh no, they're blue. Oh, they look purple from far away. Where's the gun he had? You know what? I- I might be stand- I might stand corrected. Actually, the elites do look different. There's like a different- Their faces just look really different. Alright, it's the Wraith. I think it looks the same as it does in game. Oh, All right. Pretty cool little map, though. I have to be honest with you. Definitely a cool experiment. What if Halo came out like this? Um, if y'all want me to play more cut content, um, there is also a version of the map too. This is actually just the campaign, they, the mod set up, but there's actually a testing playground that lets you play with all the new weapons and cut content and such. I'm gonna get this dude up here. It pretty much plays the exact same as the old Halo. It's just a mod, obviously. I just noticed that they actually added a little display on the plasma rifle. Wow, that wasn't there. Get in there. Come on. There you go, he's dead. As you can see, the armor looks extremely different. It's like a different design. It kind of looks like, to me, um, it looks like an early version of the Mjolnir armor. Like, maybe like a prototype. Which, it, I think that's how it is in the actual canon. I don't think it's a bad design. I do kind of like the one design we did get, though. Maybe it's some bias, but that design is, is more laid back. I think this design has many cool things. Like It's something that I probably would have designed, honestly, but the, the OG design has that nice, simplified view. Alright, let's get this, boys. Ow. Okay, never mind. 
as you can see all the guns are just extremely different like this everything is either a little bit different or like look at that come on oh i need some health fam It's like, what's this? What was on the ground? I think the plasma pistol looks the same. I could be wrong. Maybe, I think maybe the coloring is different. All right. I wish I had the pistol. I would just destroy these fools with the pistol. Come on. Um, I think the hunters look the same, but I could be mistaken. I think the cannon maybe looks a little different. Oh, shit. Uh, as you can see, it's a good view of the armor. Ow, what the fuck? What killed me? Alright, I don't know what killed me there. Yeah, as you can see, it's a very interesting map there's enemies all over this map oh there they are um. all right eat 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 plasma Come on, die. So I can take as many as I can from out there. Oh, I see a grunt. Alright, let's go down there. Yeah, I think the elites, there's a different configuration in their armor. But I could be wrong. Alright. The needler is pretty much the same. Yeah, this is a this is like an alternate version of the assault rifle. I actually do not know if this was in the demo or not. Buddy shot him in the back. Ow, who's shooting me? Oh, fucking. Damn, who the fuck? Bruh. Damn, I'm, I'm dying like. Ah, I need my shields. I need my shields, game. I'm playing this on normal and for some reason I'm having difficulty. Alright, come on. Let's get it. Oh, you gotta be sh- Alright. This might be a little bit more difficult than I thought. Can I take his rocket launcher? Or, does, or am I still like the old Halo? I'm not allowed to have it. And I died. Alright. I'm playing this on normal. Why is it getting difficult? Maybe they need to fix the... I mean, I could just be bad, but... I'm having a lot of difficulty just doing this level. Come on. Blow up. Blow up! Come 
Come on, pull up. Alright, there we go. God, if I had my pistol, this would be like, no, no worries. Alright. Oh, there's health down there. Awesome. And an assault rifle, I'll take that too. Alright, this is the one with the grenade. Damn, you just lose shields like, like a bitch. Oh, you motherfucker. Y'all took like all my shield, my health. God. Damn, this is bad. It's like I'm playing on Heroic or something. I mean, I'm, I know I'm okay at Halo at least. Ugh. Ah, there's no more ammo left too. Alright. Well, I'm gonna have to make do with what I have. You're not going up there, bitch. Ah, shit. Is so can I get up there? Shoot up these guys. Shoot up these guys. He missed, he missed, he missed. Oh, he missed too. He missed, he missed. Ah, that was close, but he missed. Fucking. Alright. Ow. Ow, oh, shit. That, that, that caused a lot of blowback. Alright. I love the alternate weapons, though. I kind of wish this was like in a real. Uh, and the oh god, uh, I gotta retreat. I wish this was in like the real Halo because some of these weapons are like really cool. So are they? But yeah, back in the day, if I remember right, Halo was actually supposed to be a oh. It was supposed to be a Mac exclusive, if I remember right. Like, it was only supposed to come out on the Mac computer. Ow. Um, and then it got changed for whatever reason. I don't know why it got changed. And, you know, if Halo came out on the Mac, I mean, I don't think it would have been as special, I think, as the Halo we got. Because the reason why I think Halo is so special is because it came out on console. And Halo is one of those first games that made consoles seem like a big deal. And if Halo just came out on the PC, like a lot of other games... Ugh, are you shitting me, dude? Oh my god. It at least saved me here. Okay. I'll take that. My god, dude. This is... I'm having difficulty just doing this. I... I'm playing this on normal, by the way. This is not hard. This is not... Why am I having so much difficulty just playing this? Okay, who the fuck... Alright. You're dead. Reload. All right, we're making progress. We're finally at the Hunters. Come on. No, oh, you fucking... Oh my god. This shit is getting stupid, dude. All right. I am gonna fucking... Oh my god. Oh my god, dude. Maybe I should change this to easy or something, or start over, because this is getting kind of retarded. Is like I don't think I'm that bad at Halo. I can't even complete this. It's just for some reason normal is like hard. I don't know what the fuck. Do I have one more rocket? Okay. Oh, you kidding me, dude? I literally... 
The shields in Halo 1 take forever to load too. That shit is annoying. You motherfuckers with the shields. Alright, you're dead. Give me this. Shit, give me this. Finally! Holy shit, dude. We made it to the fucking hunters. This shit was retarded as fuck. Alright. Are you... I wasn't even near that blast, dude. This might not be that fun after this. Oh, you came. I'm already have no shields. I'm already at no shields. What the fuck? Fuck him. He's dead. I'm gonna take an alternate route. Are you fucking- I'm already at no shields! I mean, it makes it so difficult because I have like one health of life. Health of life. Alright. Maybe. This is risky. Yep, get out, get out, get out, get out. Yep, I'm not risking it. Alright. Alright, let's try this again. No! Why the f. Why the f okay, I'm having so much difficulty doing this one section. Bitch. Too far away. Fuck him up, fuck him up, fuck him up, fuck him up. He's dead. Alright. Come on, come on, come on. You're literally made of worms. You're supposed to fall apart. Ah. Okay, I'm not I'm not risking it. I'm not risking it. All right, now there's one more guy. There we go. All right, fam. That was really difficult. I played this like last time on easy mode, and it wasn't really that hard um, completing it. But um, I'm playing it on normal right now, and it's like I don't know what it is. It's becoming a struggle, so I have to deactivate this defense control. Nice little graphics they got here. So basically the whole point of this level, I guess, is to deactivate the force fields that surround the control room. And basically, you're just shutting down Halo in the control room. And it's like pretty much the, like the Macworld demo. You get to see the OG control room and such. It doesn't look extremely different from what we got in the original game. Uh, just some... This is like a variant, it's like an alternate version of Halo. This came out. As you can see, very pretty. I think this would have been interesting. This could have probably fit in easily with Halo. Um, I mean, it's kind of a little bit bare. If I remember right, the original game had a lot of... Had a lot of features to the world. Here, it's kind of more barren. But that's how it was in the demo, so I... I think Dig Site, uh, I think the people who made this in collaboration with 343 did an amazing job. I actually just want to go up here and see what's up. I hear something bad. Oh, yep. Enemies over there. As you can see, it's very pretty. I need a vehicle, though. Oh, you fucking... 
All right, fam. Well, it did save our status, so it's fine. Alright. Ah, too far, too far, too, too close, too close. Okay. Hey. 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 Come on. Charging me, bro. What are you doing? Sounds like a bunch of armor. Well, it is a bunch of armor. Ow. <laughs> he shot his friend. Hey. Who the fuck is shooting from behind? Of course, the guys from over there. All right, me. Oh, I'm still alive. I'm not gonna probably be able. Ow. Okay, I'm still alive. This this is stupid because I got like one health. Nice fucking guy. Um, give me your thing. I got 17. Wait. Okay, he's dead. Got him. The OG Halo gameplay is always fun. I think for like a game like Halo that's like 20 years old at this point over 20 it plays extremely well I mean yeah there's a lot of quirks and kinks about it but I mean for a game that's like this old and it plays this well I mean all right come on come on come on come at me bruh bruh come oh okay yeah you came at me Come on, bitch. Alright. There we go. Where is the... That's oh, over there. So this was kind of just a little bit of an outpost, I'm guessing. But yeah, like I said earlier, I think if Halo came out on the Mac, it probably wouldn't have been... It wouldn't... I don't think it would have been as special, because... The fact that it came out on Xbox only for a long time was really special. Um... Well, if it came out on Mac, it probably would not have been a special. Alright. Alright, man. This is gonna be a difficult one. Oh, yep. Yeah. yeah, okay. <clears throat> I could really use some health, because there's like no health over here. Uh, and you bleed health like crazy. I mean, normal mode is kind of difficult. Like, holy shit, fam. Okay, yep, they know I'm here. Obviously, even though I haven't even... This hill should protect me a little bit. Um, fuck the gun. Yeah, I need to get behind cover. I know. Are you... Okay, what killed me? I don't know what killed me there. Did one of the grunts have like a plasma launcher or whatever it's called? Alright. We will complete this. I swear to god, we will complete this mod, boys. It's just gonna probably be a while. Because this fucking game, for some reason, is hard as shit. Normal mode is broken, that's all I'm gonna say. If they had to fix up this mod, this is one of the things I would say fix. Oh, there's hunters over there. Okay, I see it now. Okay, 
Maybe, here, can I maybe get in real fast? I can maybe take out one of these hunters. I don't know from far away. Yeah, that's too far away. All right. And I need a new fucking weapon. Uh. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know I'm getting out. I'm, okay. Game, I was getting out. Fuck. Alright, I... It just kind of... I do think it's a little bit annoying. There's no vehicles around. What is that over there? Oh, that's a that's a banshee. That would be perfect. If I can get to this banshee in time... This would fix, like, many of my problems. Don't you get... Motherfucker. He got... Damn, man. The fuck did he kill me so fast? Alright, yeah. Definitely, I would say normal mode's kind of broken, because this is like acting like it's heroic or legendary for some reason. Normal shouldn't be this difficult. Easy was really easy, and then normal is just like. I, I mean, I'm sure there's, there's going to be some people that are going to say, well, you don't know how to play Halo well. You gotta balance this fucking bitch. Give me your fucking gun. Some of you are gonna say you don't know how to play Halo. I, I mean, I know how to play Halo pretty well, I would say. Ooh, visi visibility. Uh, that little part of the gun is still showing. Alright. Now, this is gonna fix all of our issues. A banshee. I forget how you do barrel rolls again. This is actually the first time I've been in a vehicle in this mod. Because last time I played, I couldn't even find a vehicle at all. I may have found a ghost, but that was it. Oh, there's a warthog down there. Perfect. Now, this is going to fix all of our issues. If I, this thing can stay intact for us. Oh man, this will fix. Oh, there's a nerf. Oh, okay, there's a nerf banshee in the skies. Come here. There you go, you're dead. If this thing could at least stay intact for us. This will. This whole. This whole uh, mod is gonna be a breeze. Okay, where is the other banshee? There he is. There's only one banshee in the sky, bruh. Yep, you're dead. Yeah, it's kind of like a island, I guess, this, this whole mod. Um, but like I said, this was a Macworld demo. Alright, I think the hunter's dead. Now, oh, you shitty me, dude. Okay. Well, I almost killed everybody. Ooh, take this for sure. I'm going to need the fuel rod gun. Alright, let's do this again. I have to remember, because his, his uh, weapon, his plasma weapon is like a really large weapon. Perfect. All right, that guy's taken out. Where are the other ones in the sky? All right, he's dead. He's dead. All right. Bam. He's 
dead. Alright, careful with these hunters. They can take me out too. Alright, he's dead. He's dead. Alright, fam. We are making progress. Oh, alright, that was a close one. Ah, alright, then reload. Did I run him off, kind of? Okay, I think killed him. I'm trying to see if I can run him over to a little bit. Alright, ooh, shoot, ooh, shoot. Die. There you go. And then, come on. Dead. Come on. Ah, trying to run him over. I'm probably damaging my banshee in the process. Okay, he's gonna die. I mean, I know he's he's trying to he's trying to like survive, but he's gonna die. Oh yes. Okay. I am going to park it over here. All right. Perfect. Alright, now I need to go down here. There's probably some health down here. <clears throat> uh, the skybox, I think, is the exact same, I think. Maybe. Maybe it's slightly different. I could be wrong. Okay. Sniper. Oh, even the sniper looks different. Look at it. Wow, that's so cool. Alright. Health. I do need health. Thank you very much, game. Uh, let's look at the... Yeah, the animation looks a little awkward on it, but it's fine. The pelican looks pretty much the exact same, I think, from the game. The warthogs in the demo, there were warthogs in the demo, if I remember right, but they were, like, a little bit different. Like, they pretty much look the same, but there's, like, differences. Like, the frame, the frame on the front and the back, like, the, it just looks more wider and, like, different, I guess. You can see the wheels more. It's like an alternate version. Not extremely different, but... Yeah, the gun's different, everything's a little bit different about it. Actually, I'm gonna try out this, see what it looks like. Yeah, it kinda looks the same. <laughs> yeah, it's this, the, this Macworld, the Macworld Warthog. Different, you can definitely tell the difference because of the different lights and stuff. All right, well, let's take down this other shield. All right, took that one down. One island remaining. I am going to take this Banshee instead, though, just because it's just easier. I know it would probably be more fun just to fly around or drive around the Warthog and explore, but I'm lazy, so. As you can see, you can also get a nice view of this Mac World, the Halo on this I the Halo Island, I guess. Or it looks pretty cool, barren, I mean, but. It's so cool that they even recover this. I mean, I have no idea how they were even able to recover this. Alright. This is the last island. Alright. Fuck y'all. Uh, I'm staying in this banshee just because it's just easier to do, deal with the... All right. All right, up here is where... Oh, there's another Banshee up here, perfect. Ah, bitch. I was gonna actually take that Banshee. All right, there's gonna be the real Banshee. At this point, I don't think I really need a Banshee anymore, but I think there was ghosts back there if I didn't destroy them, though. Ooh, I think that Banshee's still actually active. Sweet. Alright. Get out of that turret. No turrets allowed.
Um, oh yeah, I forget to mention too, the Banshee pretty much looks the exact same, but there's like differences. Like there's these lights on the side of it and I think some extra markings. Which is really cool stuff, but the lights are new. That wasn't I think it may have had the lights, but not like on the back side of the wings. But once again, it's just some things go radically different about this version of Halo, some things are uh slightly different, so Okay, there is a hunter somewhere. Where is this? Oh, it's just a grunt down there. Oh, there's probably health down there. I don't need it though. Uh, one of the grunts has a, a rocket launcher thing. I know there's like an invisible wall if you fly out of this island. I think I tried it last time I played this. My thing is getting dead. Maybe it's because I keep crashing it on the ground. Alright. Trying to take out all the enemies. Alright, I'm getting out of this thing. Oh, look at that. That's a cool-ass animation, too. Alright. Fuck out of here. This thing is wild. It's like an alternate version of it. It's like bolt action for some reason. Interesting. There's the ship crashed here. But the ship thing is on the top of the island. Or the thing, console. Right. I think it's really cool that this was like a thing. I, I think I really appreciate all the developers who made this happen because this really brought some new life into the MCC. Really, into Halo in general. All right, deactivate defense shield control. Uh, look at that cutscene. Wow. Pelican reinforcements got you back, Chief. Coming in hot. We're locked, loaded, and ready on the ground to capture the island. Stand by for special delivery. All right, all right. This is Spartan Team Victor. You go ahead and secure the control room, sir. We'll take care of rescue and recovery. Spartan Team Victor. Yeah, that's the thing too. Oh, that's another thing too with this version of Halo. Spartans are just a lot more common. Um, you're not like the last Spartan, so to speak, like you like you kind of were in the first game. All right, where the fuck? There was these camo dudes shooting at me a minute ago. Now they just know where to be seen. But yeah, that's a different thing uh, with this game. Just, uh, like I said, just differences. Interesting differences. Spartan teams are like, I think they're kind of treated like ODSTs in this version. All right. I'm gonna shoot down some. Look at this bold action sniper rifle. Look at that reload animation. Alright, I see that boy over there. I'm trying to use this up so I can get that assault rifle over there. Alright, you keep moving. Alright, I'm going down. Ooh, I forget the minigun. This is another, uh, this was another cut weapon from the game and also the flamethrower. I'm gonna keep that. So, just look around a little bit. So this is the control room, we're about to enter it. As you can see, it's got two entrances. Entrances, excuse me. 
There's the pelican over here. Can you get in? Nope. Alright. And as you can see, there's the other Spartans. Let me see our boys. Oh yeah, they have this version. They have this assault rifle. I haven't been able to find it in this demo, but when you go to when we go to the uh, sandbox version of this level, we will be able to play with all the weapons. But as you can see, it's the uh, Orion armor again because this is the macro demo. But it's got like a different color to it. I think it's a different variant of the armor. This was another version of Chief they considered, I believe. As I said before, I think it's a really cool armor design. Um, I still kind of like the OG armor better, though. I just think it, there's, it's less busy looking, but still very cool. Like I think for any other sci-fi game, it would be very cool. And the Spartans are just a lot more common, as you can see. Got black variants over here. Awesome, man. All right, um, let's go into the control room. As you can see, the walls look a little bit unique. They're very different walls. All right, here we go. There's Sentinels. They have a Wraith in here too. All right, reload the mini gun. No oh, shit. I did not even know you can fall through that. That is okay. Well, back at it again. Find your way to the central control room. Interesting variant of the look at the hallways. They look so different. I know I'm just like geeking over like ordinary stuff, but but this this is I just really think it's interesting this version of Halo. All right, reload. Reload. Bam. Gotta love this minigun. I kind of wish this was in the real game because the minigun window is never added. Alright. Let's press this. Like, look at this room, too. It's similar to, like, the rooms, but it seemed like with the... It's less silvery, I guess, the Forerunner ex uh, architecture in the OG demo. It looks more, like, classical, I guess. Like, look at the floor designs and the roof and walls very different all right i do kind of like the og gray aesthetic because it just i don't know but this does feel really alien and cool all right push that button oh yeah look at these look at these elites yeah these are like the og elites we saw in the demo this these are probably what the elites were supposed to look like look at them they're like naked they don't have any armor it's like weird it's cool they added them though ah shit yeah let me take a look at these boys yeah look at them god look how weird they look oh, who's shooting oh he's still alive yeah the, yeah the swords a one hit kill still <laughs> that hasn't changed mm, reload okay yeah look at the designs of these elites though wild look at these boys they got like a weird mouth too and head design and god look at these guys just very strange alternate version of halo all right so we are going into the control room i believe as you can see the cramped little corridors uh different designs and then this is the control room for this version of halo much more smaller i would say i guess than the control room we would eventually get in the game I'm just looking As you can see, it's even got those OG holographic things, and you got the whole ring, Installation 04. Smaller room, different architecture, different Forerunner design. Look at this. Wow, it's pretty.
pretty. It is kind of cool. Oh, fell down. Oh, okay, that kills you? Okay, that's weird. Why does it kill you? Oh, okay, I guess you're just not supposed to go down there. All right. But yeah, we'll get an interesting design. Look at the little moon right there. Wow. Interesting. Just different, different look. All right, we're gonna initiate scan. As you can see, you got the OG armor. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention Cortana's probably... I'm not sure if Cortana was I, was going to be part of this version of the game. I have no idea. Alright, get in. Look at that. Completed it, boys. This is the OG Halo. The Macworld 1999 Halo. Ah, uh, look at that. Three days later. Alright, so now we're gonna play the playground, uh, ditch, dig site test map, if you will. Easy. Yeah, sorry I got disconnected back there. Just, uh, the game ended, it just kind of crashed on me. Alright, so this is the, this is just the same level, but it's just not the campaign, I guess you can say. It's just, you get to explore and just play around literally with everything i don't know what this elevator like this is an elevator but i don't know where it's supposed to lead to um this i guess was the og elevator design but here's the room we were just in playing the halo demo this room is what is this room all right uh once again interesting aesthetic the original designs for the forerunner rooms but I do have to agree, it kind of looks a little bit tacky. It's interesting though. Here is the control room. As you can see, we're already just in it. And I got the minigun on me. Alright, so this is where we're going to see all the alternate designs, enemies, and vehicles we can play around. And there are... Alright, so there's this big troll guy over here. He wasn't in the campaign, but he was an enemy that was supposed to be... In the OG Halo, but they for some reason just never had him. I believe he is canon though. I'm gonna kill him. He's gonna cause a lot of issues for us. Alright. Oh, wait, I think they fixed it. Oh, they fixed. Actually, let me restart. They fixed this level. So initially, when you play this level, he's like right out there and he just attacks everybody. And you can't really get a good look at him or anything, but now they just. I guess they just updated they made him just stay there which is awesome so we could just get a good look at him all right this is his design wow he's a big boy i think this would have been so cool i'm surprised they didn't even put this in the game because he just looks really cool um the only thing i probably would change is i would add uh like a different i would add like a different more purple covenant design to him but he should have been in the game for real this, he would have been an awesome fight or have him in halo 2 these are i think the original jackals look how strange they look look at their heads i do like their design though this could have been another species that they wanted to add it in halo but and then this is the og elites we saw these back in the campaign very strange looking look at the designs they're just I don't really like i think they, they look cool um a little bit too alien and grow a little bit grotesque i do like the elites we got but ooh, strange designs but they could have been in our species in halo if they wanted to this thing looks really weird and then this thing just looks strange look at him he's huge as fuck all right so this is all of the armor sets that were considered so we're going to start from the very first one the orion armor variants this is how um let me get a good look of here is his design 
I didn't get a really good look at it to show y'all, but this is what he was supposed to look like. This is the armor we saw in the macro demo, what Chief was supposed to look like, but they changed it. Um, I, I already said a lot about it, but I think it's a good design. There's a white variant of it. The wires and stuff. It's got the little Predator cannon thing. I'm sure that was supposed to be used in game, but they just didn't obviously build it. There's this one. It doesn't have it. But it has like more of a... This one over here got rid of it as well. Let's see, can I... No. Alright, and then this is the armor that we obviously know and love. This is the OG Mjolnir armor. But it has a blue and green variant. I have no idea what build this is from. It could. I know that they did have a, a another trailer, an OG trailer for Halo that was even... It was more like Halo we know, but it had differences, like different enemies. and. But it did have this armor in it. And Chief's voice was different in it. Interesting blue. Here's the white. Uh, nothing... Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, this is the power pack. This thing over here has like a different variant of the power pack. Uh, maybe, this, maybe this was a booster, I have no idea. But it looks very cool. Same thing here, this looks obviously like the Chief we got in game. But it has a different back to him. Um, and this is kind of just a variant, I guess, of what we just saw. Alright, now we have all of these guns that were cut from the game. And some of these guns don't even... Oh, who the fuck? Oh, okay, they're over here. All right, let me kill him. Kill him. All right, there you go. And you have all... Oh, let me kill him. All right, I guess they put them over here, and then there's like three of them just standing here. That's cool, at least, I guess. It's better than how it was, because they were just here, and then they would just cause tons of problems. You can't even see all the dudes. Alright, so we are going to look at all the weapons here and vehicles, and yeah, I mean, let's get it started, I guess. Some of these guns don't even have, like, 3D models, so we have this gun I showed you in the campaign. It's an alternate of the assault rifle. Um, plays the exact same, except it has a little bit of a grenade launcher. go this is the minigun you saw this already very cool weapon has like a lot of ammo it's pretty much the exact same as the warthog gun um, but these are two actually have first person models now we have this thing very different assault rifle that could have been in the game now as you can see uh, some of these weapons don't even have first person models to them Maybe this was because, uh, as I said before, earlier initially Halo was going to be a third person shooter, but they changed it. So, that could have been the case. Also, maybe just because they didn't, they weren't able to make the 3D first person models for them. I know initially Halo was supposed to be a 3D third person game. As you can see, here's Chief walking around. Um, this is, okay, this is the rocket, like a grenade launcher. Alright, interesting little thing. Now let's get this gun. This is, I think this was the one that we saw one of the Spartans have in the last, in the beginning. It shoots pretty good, I would say. I do think it's a little bit slow for my taste, but an interesting design. And then it's got the also the grenade launcher. So this is an alternate variant. It's, um... Uh, all these weapons are still very much playable and usable. Like the assets are all like the only problem with this it's they they don't have a first person model, so but you still have a little cursor and stuff and all that to see who you're shooting at, so Alright. Alrighty, now we're gonna get this gun. This thing is a gravity winch, I guess is what it's called. Um, very strange design. It's kind of like a... I don't even know how to describe it. You, 
Yeah, some kind of weird rocket launcher. Look how far he went, too. Holy shit. The little arrow is like your cursor. Oh, sh oh shit. Oh, okay. I guess it does that, too. I guess if you hold it down too long, it's going to blow up in your face. Interesting weapon, though. Interesting weapon. Okay, just made me pick up a... Okay, this is another assault rifle. Um, wasn't able to get a good look at it, but it looks kind of different. Plays just like an assault rifle, but has less ammo. So basically, what the later games had. Um, and this is the four-point ICW... Okay, yeah, we just had this gun. Alright. Um, what is this? So this is the MA5 ICW. So just another variant of the assault rifle. I'm pretty happy with the assault rifle we got in the OG Halo. I like how OP it is, so... This is more of a laid-back version. Alright, what is this? Microwave gun. Alright, this is the microwave gun. Okay, well, kind of weird design. The cursor I do think they use for the the long range weapons is a little bit flawed in my opinion. It doesn't really you're not really know where you're supposed to be shooting at, honestly. But I hopefully I mean hopefully eventually they can have first person models for all of these guns eventually. Alright. Um this is the flamethrower or defoilment projector. Okay. It sounds like a pelican! Wow, look at this. It's it's like non-stop, too. I kind of like this more than the... Alright, see how it reloads. Interesting. Different design, for sure. Alright, let's see. Uh, another assault rifle. Oh, wow. This is a high-speed assault rifle, though. Yeah, I do like this thing. It's got two... Alright. Um... So this is another version. This is, I think, the classic assault rifle that we have. Obviously, there's a model for it. Yeah, this is a classic. Can't go wrong with the classic. They, comparing it to these assault rifles, as you can see, they're much more uh, different design, I guess. This is the M5. All right, use this one up. All right. Um, now, this one we already have. Has less ammo, but it shoots grenades. So, this is the flamethrower we did get, I believe. I actually have no idea if this little monitor it has, though, is different. I think that's different. I could be wrong, though. Alright. Um, this is a standard plasma pistol. Not really anything different. Fuel rod cannon. Well, this is a little bit different because the cursor, you see the little green line, that's actually a different different design, I think. Alright, so that's different. Yeah, needler is pretty much the same. Um, Alright, and we have, well, I already have the minigun. You've already seen that. Pistol. Um, not much different than the one we have. Looks pretty much the same. I actually think, well, this, the grip looks a little bit different on it, actually. And it seems a little bit faster, but, yeah, that's that version. Um, the classic Halo Assault uh, rocket launcher. Um, is it just me, though? I didn't notice the test on it. I think this is, like, a slight variant of the rocket launcher. I don't know. I might be crazy. I don't remember seeing that test button on it. All right, shoddy. Uh, looks the exact same, except there's like a sticker or something on the top of it. It looks like, like I said, slightly different. All right, let's see how it reloads. Yeah, pretty much the exact same, just slightly different. All right, and in this gun, we saw this is the SMG. I don't know why I called it. The, I called it the assault rifle earlier. 
What is this? I think these are like cursors. I don't know. Uh, we saw this in the campaign. Oh, I didn't even realize this thing also has a burst fire action on it too. I really like this SMG though. Kind of wish it wasn't cut. All right. Um, saw this already. Um, this is the sniper rifle I believe we got in the final game. It really looks. I think it's maybe slightly different, but it looks the exact same. All right. Yeah, pretty much the exact same. All right. Um, plasma pistol. Yeah, this is the final one we got in the game because. The one we had in the campaign was like slightly different, but this is the, yeah, this is definitely the final version of the plasma rifle. Uh, this is the one we had in the campaign. I kind of like the one we got just because it's a little more, more clear with the, uh, whether it's uh, used up or whatever. All right. Yeah, this is the OG. This is a different variant of it. Oh, this is like a plasma pistol. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of this, but it's an interesting variant. Okay, this one doesn't have a model. Interesting. This is like a it's like a flamethrower. How do you reload it? Uh, interesting. All right, interesting plasma rifle. Um Okay, this one doesn't even have a model for it. It's a bolt action assault rifle though, or sniper rifle, excuse me. Um, work in progress, so, you know. All right, what is this? Maybe it's on my end. The last time I played this though, the, these guns didn't even appear too. Uh, I don't know how to switch to third person though. Um, but this seems like this is some kind of sniper. So, but right now there's no model for it. All right, now this gun is weird. This is like a Wampri sub or something is what it said. Very strange weapon. So I'm gonna use it on one of these guys. Okay, that didn't even do anything. It's very, ah. Yeah, it's like a explodes too, I forgot to mention. <laughs> I forgot to mention that. Alright. Um, there are enemies over here. This will actually be a great demonstration of some of the weapons we can use. So first off we have... Um, this variant of the plasma. It seems like the, this, this is the plasma pistol, but it acts like a plasma rifle. Ow, oh, shit. Alright, he's dead. Alright. Uh, let me get a sniper, because he's kind of far away. Perfect demonstration of some of the weapons. Alrighty, here's a sniper. Alright, this is the... Alright. So now we have... This is a... Kind of... A pistol... It's like a Magnum submachine gun. I don't even know what it was called. But this thing is really cool. I think it's cool. I can't wait to see if they add a model for this thing. This thing is really cool. Alright. That's that weapon. I'm sure I might miss some. Now here's the... Energy sword. Now this was a cut thing they could not add to the... This was something that they, they cut from Halo 1. They didn't. They never let you use the energy sword. But in this game, it was just considered that you can use it. And as you can see, the OG Halo 1 energy sword. And it looks great. I'm happy with this thing. This is actually a time where I agree, like, third person actually works for it. Now... This thing, this is like a machete or whatever the fuck. This thing looks crazy. Like I can try it out on one of these Spartans over here. Yeah, see, there you go. Whoa. 
It looks okay. They could have they could have added it if they really wanted to. Um, all right, we've already seen this. I think this is another variant of this blade. It doesn't look any different, honestly. It's probably just a different version. All right, and then we have uh, not this. This is a different fuel rod cannon, I believe. Yeah. It seems more fast, and uh, it's like got a different. It's got a different ammo system. I do kind of like it though. All right. Now we have this. This is the OG, one of the OG rocket launchers. From what I remember right, someone telling me this is a marathon. Like it's very similar to the marathon rocket launcher, I'm guessing. So we're gonna try it out. Bam. Kind of cool. I think they could have added it if they wanted to. All right, we messed with this one already, I think. Yep. Uh, this is, I think, a different plasma. This is a different needler, I think. Yeah, just different ammo system they had. It looks different too. Like from what I see on over here, it's like a different. It's got like a weird design. Let me get a weapon that like I can actually see things with. Okay, as you can see. All right, some of these weapons. Different working fuel rod cannon. There's the machete. The minigun we've messed with. Um, I think, yeah, it's the same minigun. Same pistol, rocket launcher. We messed with all of these. Uh, this is a different shotgun, I'm guessing. Yeah, this is definitely this is a different one. Oh. Alright. Yeah, I kind of like this shotgun more. Alright. Now, this is the pistol we saw from the campaign. The little bit scoped pistol. Interesting sound effect, too. Different design, also. I really like this pistol. Alright. And this is a different pistol. More ammo. Uh, seems faster, too. All right. Let me look at some of these pistols, as you can see. Yeah, this is a different pistol design they had. This looks like a Blade Runner weapon. All right. Kind of, they all kind of shoot the same, so there's not really a difference. It's just more of aesthetics, I guess. All right. This is a different rocket launcher, as you can see. See how different this thing is. Yeah, it pretty much acts the same as the the OG rocket launcher. It just looks different. All right. Um, what is this? Is this the? All right, this is the same sniper rifle. I think we looked at this. Sh maybe. Okay, we didn't look at this shoddy. Kind of interesting. It's a it's a pullback. So. All right. Same thing here. I do like the shotgun we got, but it would have been interesting to have the shotgun. Alright. Uh, what is this? The excavator. Whoa, this thing is crazy. What does it do? Alright, let me try it out on one of these guys here. Ooh, it's a one shot. Alright. Okay, interesting design, too. Alright, this is a different fuel rod. Oh, this one actually shoots out like rockets. Okay, interesting little design, I guess. Let me try it out on this guy. Oh, he's not dead. The cursor is kind of whack a bit, I would say. They need to fix it for sure, or just make it... Okay, this guy's not dying. He's not fighting back either. All right, now he's dead. All right. Um, all right, we'll see. This is a, I don't know if we, this is another submachine gun it looks like. Interesting. 
Another plasma rifle. Alright, this is like a faster plasma rifle, dude. Interesting design. Alrighty. What is this? This is another shoddy, I believe. Alright. And now what is this? This is a SW9 or whatever. This is some kind of bolt action gun. And they don't have a... Fr it's it's weird. They don't do a third person here either. Alright, this is the, another lamprey thing. I really like this thing. It's kind of cool. It's weird and... It's weird and cool, like... I really like it. It's like a little bit of an explosive rod. I think they could have added this in the game. It's, it is it is kind of weird, but I mean, right, this is a different plasma rifle. Uh, it seems like a sniper version of it though. Weird, like look at this, Let's try it on these guys. Yeah, pretty cool though. All right, um, and then this, I think this is a different version. Okay, we already saw this. And did we see this? Okay, we saw this. And this is the Wampri. Bam! We got that explosion. And the OG Orion is still here, boys. The OG Orion. I may be the well he has like a little bit darker of a green than I do but still that's cool alrighty and I think it, that could be all the weapons as you can see it's very weird design some of these weapons very weird get a good look at the, some of these different shotguns different pistols um, yeah we'll get this to better oh yeah I don't know if we tried this one out this is kind of a Concussion guns was called already. Interesting. And I think, I think that could be all. Um, I could be missing a few. I believe we looked at all the plasma. I think we all did. Yeah, we did. We looked at these. Such a weird design, this one too. Like this is like the initial design. They were gonna change, like, made it into a plasma pistol, basically. Alrighty. There's the OG Orion over here. Alright, I'm going to leave him alive. Now we're going to look at the vehicles now. And there are quite a few variant of vehicles. And even in this version of Halo, you can actually use the Pelican. Which is rare, because a lot of Halos never really let you use the Pelican. So this is called the Doozy. This is something you would see in like sci-fi movies or something. Um, like a, kind of like a, I guess, I don't know. A water... Some kind of watercraft. Uh, I've I saw I've seen this design in like other TV shows, but here it is. It's very slow though. This thing is. This thing is very slow. Uh, it has no weapons on it, and yeah, there is a back seat function of it. So if you have another player, uh, I swear I got on the back seat one time. Yeah, there you go, side seat. Uh, I'm gonna see if it works on land too. Let's see. Yep, it only works in water. <laughs> There's the doozy. Now we have these tanks and warthog variants. So this is, I guess, a different version of the tank. It's called the Viper. So an alternate design. This looks like a much more traditional tank, I guess you can say. Um, but let's drive it around. Bam! Destroyed the doozy, or threw it away. I kind of like this thing. I think this could have been in the game. 
as like a maybe like a different tank you could have used. I really like the design of the Viper, and it's also really fast, like much more fast than the Scorpion. Really cool design, though. Very cool design. The blue, I think, could have been changed to green, which this one over here just basically a green variant. But I really like this thing. It's fast too, and it's powerful. All right, um, go over here. Yeah, this is basically the same tank. It's just a green variant. The gun is really powerful too. Bam. Really cool, and it's like really fast. I'm gonna travel up a hill and see how well it does. But man, if they added this and look at this thing, it's like really fast. Like it's like the speed of a warthog, pretty much, or maybe even faster. I mean, this thing goes. Ooh. Here's the pelican over here, and there's the drop ship, the Covenant drop ship. I forgot the actual name. Um, but in this mod, you can actually fly the pelican. So. All right, we're gonna go back to the other vehicles to take a look at them. But this thing is awesome. Can you drive it through here? I'm just. <laughs> I want to actually see if you can drive through here. Ah, uh, shit, 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 shit! Oh my god! Oh yeah, I broke. I broke the game. You can see even more of the map now. <laughs> Yeah, I broke the game. All right, let's get out of here. <laughs> Alrighty, but yeah, really cool. I really like the Viper. I'm not sure why it was cut, but an interesting design. You have this weird aircraft right here called the the Kestrel. Um, it looks very similar to the Wasp, uh, if I remember right, from Halo Infinite. If you remember the Wasp vehicle, this looks very similar to that. But it's really surprising they were even considering doing a vehicle like this, like, way back in the day. It's got machine guns, and it's got rockets. Um, doesn't... It, this thing is really fun. And it looks great. The black, I would have probably changed it for green, obviously. But, look at this thing. It is cool as hell. And it flies really fast, too, like... It flies really fast. The Kestrel seems like a really cool cut vehicle. I mean, I'm assuming they probably... I guess it's because they, they didn't have no flying vehicles in the first Halo. So maybe they just feel like they didn't want to have it, but... That's the Kestrel. The, basically the OG Wasp. Alright. Now we have the Warthogs. Now, like I said before, the Warthogs are slightly different. Um, they look pretty much the exact same, but there's just differences different headlights more of a wider frame this is a different variant of the warthog this is kind of like the passenger one we saw from halo 3 um, but just the og design as you can see it's got the little things on the back for soldiers as you can see four seats i think it's pretty cool Oh yeah, there's like different tires on this Warthog too. It seems faster too than the OG Warthog too, actually. Looking back on it, this thing actually drives really fast. All right, spin this. Bam, pretty cool. I kind of like it. They have this Warthog design. It's got the little hooks on the front. Oh yeah, the hooks are different too. Just little differences. All right, I have a different type of gun here. It's got more of a, what's it called, nose guard or whatever it's called. And this gun seems faster, it shoots faster too. All right, look at this weapon. Look at this rate of fire, dude. This thing is insane. All right, and let's drive it around a little bit. It drives pretty much the same, but it's, like I said, it seems like the Warthog seems faster in this version of Halo. Doesn't have a horn though. All right. And then this is a same variant, but it shoots rockets. So kind of like the Rocket Warthog. Ah, uh, look, look how it reloads too. It, re it has like a little revolver thing. Nice, all right. And this kind of drives the same if I remember right. Yeah, there's a different this variant. I like the nose guard. I think they could have kept it. 
All right, now I have this thing. Um, I think this thing was in Halo 2. Uh, I'd be a little bit different than Halo 2, but what's this thing called? This is called the Shadow. Wow, look at this thing. It's got a, it's got an automated turret you control. Wow, the rate of fire is insane on this thing. And you have like a little control thing right here. The animation to get out of is a little clunky. And look at this thing, it's called the Shadow. Wow, look at this thing. It's kind of slow, but yeah, it's a pretty beefy vehicle. Uh, it's kind of a, an interesting vehicle they cut. Do I think it should have been added? I mean, I don't know. I think maybe it could have been added. I think it could have been added, but I don't know what it would have done for the campaign. The Wraith basically served. This was, I think this is basically like an OG Wraith. I do like the Wraith a little bit more. But this seems the shadow could have been definitely put back in. It's a very interesting design. It looks like a definitely a covenant design that would have been in the game. All right, and then we have the scorpion, I believe, or the specter. My bad. Why did I say scorpion specter? What was that one? There was a pink one in uh, Halo Reach, I think. But I think it's called the Revenant. But this is the specter. It looks just like the Revenant, though. Um, there's a little bit of a seat, I guess, you can sit on. Yep. And then, the side seat. That's the side seat over here. The gunner seat. And look at the, look at the different, look at the plasma. Wow, it's like a different, different type of plasma gun. And it's got the little nose guard on it, too. I would have loved to have seen this thing in game, actually. And where's the driver's seat? The driver's seat's over here. A little confusing again to the driver's seat. Oh wow, look at it. It's very fast too. Wow, look at this thing. I really like this thing. I think they, I don't know why this was cut, but I'm actually gonna check real fast if uh, this was even in the open oh, reach, cause yeah. Oh yeah. Okay, I'm stupid. So this was actually a, my bad. Apologies. This was a vehicle I forgot it was in Halo 2, um, but they cut it. I guess it was supposed to be in Halo 1, but they cut it out. Um, but this is what it would have looked like in Halo. Uh, one. I it could have been added. I think this thing looks really cool in Halo One, actually. I'm. I remember it being pretty cool in Halo Two as well. So that's all the weapon or vehicles. Now we shall. We shall go over here. Well, actually, let me use one of these vehicles so we just just try it out. Right, let's get a war dog. All right. Here is that thing. Uh, the I don't think I don't know if I actually. Yeah, I don't think. Yeah, we, we already tried it out, but yeah. Let's see. Okay, it does move a little bit, but very slowly. It's not designed for land. All right, this is the Pelican boys. Uh, we can actually fly this thing. Uh, we can actually enter the side as well. Like a campaign. Alright, and then we can actually fly this bad boy. Let's get in this thing. Look at this thing. This thing is massive. Look at how it changes to its thrusters as you're flying it. And it's got a mini giant Gatwing gun. Ah, this thing is fun. It's very bulky though to fly. It's a very bulky thing. It, it, it kind of it's sluggish to move, but it's. My god, it's so cool to actually fly this thing. And the OG Halo, like, dude. Alright. Oh, yeah. There's, like, an invisible wall. We have to back up. Okay. 
Uh, Alright, get out, get out, get out. Uh, okay. Am I stuck? Uh, okay, we're not stuck. Alright, turn. Go towards the island. Alright, it's not letting me go towards the island. Because this thing is being stubborn. Alright, I am going to get out of this thing. Oh. Okay, I guess you can... I didn't know you can walk on the water somewhat. The water is, like, very shallow, so... Um... I guess... Maybe I got stuck inside of the force field. Let's see, can I get back in the pelican? Come on. In, in, in. Get in. Fucking Christ. Alright, just kill myself just to go back. <laughs> Alright. Alright, so reset it everything. Alrighty. Getting this Viper over here. Try it out. Reload. Bam! Look at that. Look at that explosion. This thing doesn't have a, 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 a machine gun on it, though. Alright. It only has the tank. Alright. But its explosion is wild. Alright, so that was the Pelican, as you can see. Very cool that we can actually fly it. Now, I haven't tried this myself, but I'm going to see if we can drive, uh, fly the dropship if we can. So, we're going to experiment. I'm assuming since it's sitting right there that we can use it, but I have no idea. Alright. Uh, oh, I saw a prompt. I saw a prompt. Am I crazy or am I crazy? Maybe it's on top. Is it on top? Um. Oh, okay, we can fly it. All right. Wow, this is the oh shit! This is the drop ship. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. What is wrong with this? Okay, this thing is not flying well. So this is the... I don't know how you can open it too. Alright, this thing is flying very strange. Pretty cool though, we can fly it. Can we, uh... Oh. Ow. Of course I died. Pressed the wrong button. Alright, let's get in this thing. The, the Destral. Damn, that rocket just took him out like it was nothing. This has to be my favorite cut uh, flying vehicle, though. This thing is really fun, and it's easy to maneuver it, too. Um, but yeah, that seems like it's all the vehicles that can fly. Uh, I'm not sure why this thing over here is so difficult to fly, though. The controls seem very strange. Like, I'm trying to go up, and like... I don't know. Like, it's hard to explain. I would, I wonder if you can like open it because I'm I'm was this like the OG dropship design where it was just closed up like this? Um, but it's an interesting variant of the design. I personally like the one we got in the game, but cool I guess. It's just a giant ship we can fly around. You can't shoot any guns or anything off it too in this version. All right. And then the Pelican kind of is smooth to fly, but it's more sluggish, I guess you can say. We're going to go get it over here, actually. Alright, let's fly this bad boy. And there you go. We're going to fly around the island and get a quick little look at it. 
the big vehicles kind of have a little bit issues flying around in this game, but it's fine. It's really fun. It, it does fly pretty well. Um, the dropship, though, the controls for it, I have no idea what they were thinking with the... Alright, let's get this thing over here. This thing flies way better. Alright, but this is the... Macworld 1999 demo. As you can see, the island is really cool. It's fun. It's pretty spacious. Sprawls. Got bridges. Kind of similar to what we got in the final game, but just different. Different things. Different assets. Just a weird alternate version of Halo that we could have gotten if maybe Halo was released on Mac or if Bungie decided to keep most of these original designs. They obviously didn't. So yeah, uh, I think it's we've done pretty much saw everything and tried everything we wanted to try out. So we are going to quit. Now, um, before I head off this video, there are some maps that were also cut uh, from the OG Halo. Um, so yeah, take a look at these. So there's three maps that were apparently cut. Um, but that's pretty much all I'm going to do for this video. Um, I'll do probably the maps another time. But that's pretty much the OG Macworld 1999 Halo demo. A weird alternate version of Halo to say the least. Uh, once again, if y'all enjoyed the video, please subscribe, like, and I'll see y'all later.